What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Alicia, coming at you with my February favorites. Um, I just have a couple of items that I have been using um, quite frequently in the month of February, and I was going to take this time to just show you guys what they are. Not a huge video at all, um, so I'll just quickly jump into it. I'll start with what I'm going to start with. Um, face products. How about that? I'll start with like makeup and face type of products. So, um, my first products are my two favorite go-to lipsticks for the month of February. Um, when I'm telling you I love, love, love these lipsticks, I just, I love them. Um, the first one is 32 Berry. Can you guys see that? Okay, there you go. 32 Berry Rich from Milani. This is when I did that 75% um, off Milani haul from CVS. This lipstick is a fabulous red color. You guys seen it in my haul before, but I will go ahead and swatch it for you guys again. This is a beautiful red. This red is really nice. It's a deep red. So if you're looking for a deep red, this red is, is it. Um, with this color, I wear the NYX um, in deep red. This is a perfect liner for this color. I get so many compliments when I wear this combination together. So you guys, you can try it if you like. The next color that I want to show you guys is from my Wet n Wild um, haul when they came out with their 2012 collection. This color is 965 Cherry Pickens. Dang, how do I, okay. Can you guys see that? Um, whatever. 965 Cherry Pickens. This is not just a red, but it has like a hot pink undertone. I have that lipstick on today. It is really nice. I wore it to work today. I got so many compliments. I gave this lipstick color out at least five times today, seriously. Um, so I'll swatch this one for you also. It's the bottom one. And as you can see, it's not, you see how that top one is just a red and this one is, it's kind of has that pink undertone and much brighter as well. Um, but I absolutely love this color. The texture is really moist. And with this one, I wear NYX 817 Hot Red. So Hot Red, NYX, and Cherry Pickings together looks amazing. Okay, the next um, product that I'm going to show you guys, and I still have my little 75% off sticker on this uh, Milani blush. I love, love, love Mai Tai number 203 Mai Tai from Milani. I don't know, it's just something about this blush, and I like the others as well, don't get me wrong. I really like them. I have on... Um, Milani Illuminous today, but I reach for this Mai Tai more than I do any other blush as of as of lately. It's a really nice pink. Love it. So if you guys can catch this at your CVS still for 75% off, I suggest that you do so because it's awesome. Okay, um, my next product is my Maybelline Great Lash. I know you guys have seen this mascara before. It's been out forever. This is just like an, an oldie but goodie. But this mascara, I have tried so many. I tried the different Maybellines. I've had MAC. Just, I don't know. I just revert back to this Maybelline Great Lash because it, this wand... This wand is just fabulous. 
and my eyelashes are really really curly they they just and they they're sporadic they go everywhere they don't go in the same direction and so this mascara really kind of lifts and you know really gets these puppies straight love this mascara this is just my all-time favorite i'm just a drugstore mascara girl I'm sorry, I just can't do the MAC and pay all of that money for a mascara that is not really giving me the effect that I would like to, for it to give for my lashes. You know, some people don't have as hard of a time to get their lashes to look good as I do. My lashes are just, I don't know, they're crazy, but my eyebrows grow crazy as well. So I have to really tame them. Um, the next item that I have or product that I have is ELF's cream eyeliner i had really been looking for a good cream eyeliner and an affordable one and i found this one at target and i have to say i really like it i use it with a very small um not pencil brush but i guess it's a pencil brush i don't know um really small brush and it goes on well it stays on all day um i like the consistency of the um product and and it's affordable so i have no complaints with this cream eyeliner i really enjoy it and i think if you guys purchase it you'll enjoy it too and it's much cheaper than the max um cream liner nars and all of those other brands i think it was like i don't know three bucks or something like that but i really 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 enjoy it elf's cream eyeliner okay and then i've also been reaching for my um maybelline fit me foundation lately um i have the mac um studio fix fluid in nc mm, 45 i believe which i love 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 but when i am not really going out or i don't want a full coverage foundation just like maybe a medium coverage foundation and i'm just kind of running errands you know i save my mac basically for my good occasions because it's expensive and so my maybelline fit me foundation um is a good alternative for me it's not a full coverage foundation in my opinion it's more of a um, i guess a medium foundation i am color um 320 in the maybelline fit me foundation and what i can say about this foundation is if you have oily skin this is totally not the foundation for you because and i have dry skin and still over time throughout the day I need to get like a sponge and kind of blot my face or just kind of, you know, touch away those oily spots because it, it, it can make your face look a little bit oily throughout as, as the day wears on. Um, so if you have oily skin, mm -mm, baby, this foundation is not for you. But if you have dry or combination skin, this um, foundation should work for you. And they have a lot of different shades, so you should be able to find your shade if you want to try this foundation out. And it's a, like I said, it's a good alternative. I'm not saying that it's a dupe for Max um, Studio Fix Fluid. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is that um, it's just a, a good foundation if you want to wear a cheaper version and kind of save your Mac um, foundation for your your better days. Okay. Um, and the next thing that I was going to show you as far as face products are concerned is um, these little makeup removers. I love these things. Um, these are like the dupes for um, Neutrogena. They're Target brand makeup remover towelettes. They're really inexpensive. And when I'm telling it gets all of the makeup off of your face in like one, two swipes. You don't have to scrub. It's really effective and really affordable. So I like it a lot. Okay. That's that. And I have just some body products. I have had my Amber Rose um is this from Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret? Victoria's Secrets. My um, Amber Rose scent. 
from Victoria's Secrets for quite some time. And I've been reaching for it lately because it's just a nice scent um, to go into spring. Love the fragrance. Not too floral. Not too floral. Um, and it's not a fragrance that I would really wear in the winter time, but I think now is really an, an appropriate time, February, March type of season. I don't know for this fragrance for me. Um, and I promised myself that I would not buy any additional Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works fragrance until I started using the ones that I currently have more often. So I have the body butter, I have the shower gel, and as you guys can see, I have been using it a lot more because it's almost gone. And then I have the, um, hand and body cream, but it's a really nice fragrance for the springtime. If you guys would like to try that fragrance, um, and then love 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 i'm loving my juicy couture peace love and juicy couture fragrance it's been my go-to perfume and as you can see i've been using it a lot but it still has quite a few quite a lot of perfume in there so love that and last but not least this is my Tresemme heat tamer spray so heat protecting so when you're curling your hair uh, What I can say about this product is I definitely love it, but it does um, you know make your hair not wet, but um, There's nothing else for me to say but kind of kind of wet. you do have to wait a few minutes before you curl your hair because it's damp your hair has a really it is it, damp and so you want to kind of wait and brush it out a, a couple of minutes I would say about three minutes or or so before you start curling it because you'll get that kind of sizzle effect as if you're burning your hair if you just really go straight into curling your hair before letting the heat tamer dry okay all right you guys that is it for my February favorites I'm glad I was able to get that done gosh I rub lipstick on my hand um because i didn't have a january favorites because everything that i did in, in december you know i pretty much saw myself using in january so i wanted to wait a little bit until i had some um different products to kind of test out wear a little bit and then be able to give you guys my honest opinion as to whether i really like them or not and these items i absolutely love so i hope you guys try some of these products out let me know um below if you actually happen to go to the store to purchase any don't forget to rate comment and subscribe below this is your girl alicia at top notch diva saying peace